Welcome to the March issue of the podcast of the journal Endoscopy, the official organ of the European Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy. Each month we offer summaries of three selected articles that have appeared in this journal. We hope you find them interesting and relevant to practice. Endoscopic submucosal dissection is a minimally invasive treatment for gastric dysplastic lesions that have a low risk of lymph node metastasis. ESD allows on block resection of lesions larger than 50 millimeters. However, poor visualization of the submucosal layer and difficult access to the lesion edges during the ESD procedure renders the technique difficult time-consuming and prone to complications. This can lead to inadvertent cutting of the submucosal vessels and poor estimation of submucosal depth, which can result in bleeding and perforation. Different techniques have been developed in an attempt to address these problems. However, most of them are laborious, time-consuming, allow only traction and some are invasive and expensive. Baldock Silva et al. evaluated the feasibility, efficacy and safety of a novel and straightforward yo-yo technique which increases the access to the submucosal space by not only pushing but also pulling the lesion edges during the ESD procedure. They report their findings in a paper entitled Endoscopic Submucosal Dissection of Gastric Lesions Using the Yo-Yo Technique, Case Report Series, in the March issue of Endoscopy. The study included patients with neoplastic lesions, low-grade intraepithelial neoplasia, high-grade intraepithelial neoplasia, and well-differentiated adenocarcinoma larger than 15 mm when non-ulcerated and less than 30 mm when ulcerated. Patients with subepithelial gastric lesions referred for ESD were also invited. Lesions underwent a prior characterization through biopsy specimen analysis and endoscopic ultrasound. All ESD procedures were performed by the same endoscopist under propofol sedation. A high-definition endoscope with a transparent cap was used and endoscopy was performed with white light followed by narrow band imaging in order to improve lesion characterization. Marking dots were applied approximately 5 mm outside the lesion margins using argon plasma coagulation. One of the main difficulties during endoscopic submucosal dissection is the mobilization of the partially resected lesion in order to improve access to the lesion edges and the dissection plane. In the current study, the feasibility and safety of a new yo-yo technique to facilitate ESD procedures were evaluated. A total of 17 consecutive patients with gastric lesions were included. A standard hemoclip and snare were used to pull and push the lesion margins in order to increase the access to the lesion edges and to the submucosal space. All lesions were resected en bloc without perforation or significant bleeding requiring blood transfusion and all patients were discharged within seven days. Resected specimens and lesions were between 24 and 58 millimeters and 18 and 45 millimeters in size, respectively. Conclusion. The authors conclude that the yo-yo technique, which uses conventional endoscopic devices, allows the partially resected lesion to be pulled and pushed during the EST procedure, increasing visualization and access not only to the cutting plane, but also to the proximal and distal margins of the lesion, depending on the requirements of the endoscopist,
and independently of the endoscope movements, enabling an accurate and safe procedure to be performed. The procedure reduces the risks of bleeding and perforation, confirmed by the 100% rate of arm block resection and the absence of major complications. Also, in contrast to other techniques, the mobilization device is inserted through the nose, reducing the friction with the endoscope and facilitating the independent movements of the endoscope and snare, improving ESD accuracy. The yo-yo technique does not interfere with the access to the oropharynx, enabling aspiration of patient secretions during ESD. Further use of this technique may lead to the expansion of its indications to other gastrointestinal regions. In summary, the yo-yo technique is feasible, easy and safe to use.